Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Walking with God for March 31st. The title is Looking Back, Looking Forward. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. Luke 24, 7. Suppose someone told you of two unlikely events that would happen in the future, one in a few days, the other at an undetermined time in the future. In spite of the details he gave about each event, you found it hard to believe that he could predict the future with that kind of accuracy. Within a few days, you learn that the first predicted event took place exactly as the man said. How would that change your thinking about the likelihood of the second event? It would probably change your thinking radically. Strangely enough, even though Jesus Christ predicted his own death and resurrection on the third day, both of which were fulfilled in detail, many people don't take seriously his promise to return to earth. On the same occasion on which Jesus told his disciples of his impending death and resurrection, he said, The Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each according to his works. Matthew 16, 27. It would be unwise to look back at Christ's death and resurrection in belief, but not look forward to his second coming with expectation. The ambition of my life is to be as holy as a saved sinner can be. Robert Murray McChaney Thank you for listening, and God bless you.